Hey, this is Steven from Legit PC, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys my budget build here. Um, this is using the Shinobi case from BitPhoenix here. Uh, and then the video after this would be the review of this case and what I think about it after using it for a while. Uh, this particular build here is what I use for my capture and all my uh, game videos and all my rendering and everything like that. So this is an all-around... Um, Budget build this is a fifteen hundred dollar bill. It does all of my rendering and, like I said, all my games, all of my uh, recordings, and all that kind of stuff, as well as all my storage is in this per, uh, particular computer. So this is a uh, ATX uh, Bit Phoenix Shinobi case, which of course I'll show you guys all the um, close-up stuff. And uh, inside I have a EVGA GTX 660 Ti Signature 2, which is the one with the two fans on the bottom. Um, so, I mean, it's relatively older now. That cost me about 300 bucks. I have the, the capture card in here, which I showed you guys earlier, which is um, the HD, um, HD Live Gamer capture card in there with the H.264 encoder. I also have um, something that I'm going to remove shortly after doing a little uh, section on uh, section on about it. It's uh, I have a dedicated physics card in here currently. It is a old GTX EVGA 460 super clock. So I have that as a dedicated physics card, which um, I'll have some videos on uh, comparing that with and without physics. What else do I have in here? It's got a, a Z77 chipset. It's got the Sabertooth Z77 Asus motherboard inside. It's got a, uh, I believe it was a 650 power supply, or it was an 850 power supply. And I think it would be better if I just showed you. So I'm going to give you guys a uh, close-up look inside of the case, as well as the wire management, how I have it set up, what I like about this particular setup, uh, what I would suggest about this setup to um, gamers, um, people that have their own channel that want to record live game and encode and um, for someone looking for the all-around budget build what's the best to go with so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video and I'll show you guys inside of uh, my main budget build here and uh, so let's get started hey and we are back with uh, looking inside of uh, my budget build here so as you can see this is definitely a theme build like I said it's a bit Phoenix Shinobi case and uh, everything in here is black Except for, of course, uh, this, um, this CD drive, which we'll see in a second. So uh, I'll let you guys take a look here, and then I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. Okay, here we go. Move the tripod out of the way. Give me a second. And try to stabilize this the best I can. Okay, so. So here we have uh, 850 Cooler Master Silent Pro which as you can see is white on black. We got here the G4660 Ti, which is uh, the EVGA, you see the Signature 2 there at the bottom. The GTX 460 right there, dedicated physics card, which I will remove, event remove eventually. And this is a Zigma, um, this one is a Stealth, Stealth something, I can't remember what the exact name of it is. But yeah, um, this one is a, is a um, zinc plated, uh, the heat sink. So, and here on the side, I don't know if you guys can see that too well. I don't have too much light, but those are Corsair um, Dominator, not Dominator, sorry. They are, uh, what is the name of these again? Those are the black ones. I can't remember exactly what the name of those black ones are. And in the, in the description of this, I'm going to have the entire build and all of the products. I purchased all this at the same time at um, Newegg. So I'm going to show you guys all the prices of all this stuff here and uh, what exactly the, the specs are. So underneath this particular heatsink here, I have a 4th gen i5-3570K, which, is, uh, which is, like I said, is an i5. And that is perfect for uh, people that want to get an all-around good build. Uh, and here you see my capture card here. And here you see my, uh, this is a Blu-ray drive, Blu-ray burner. Um, this is Asus, and as you can see, that's the only thing that's off color. What else do we got? So here you can see the saber tooth, um, Z77 in the back, thermal armor, and there you can see it says saber tooth Z77. Uh, here you can see the absolute mess. So I'll talk some, I'll talk a little bit more about this in uh, another video, but um, this case is really really small as far as the hard drives here 
So as you can see, you can't get the screws for the hard drive, so they're kind of just like flimsily mounted in here. So like I'm going to say in the review, uh, which you guys could check out for the full going over this uh, particular case and what I think about it. But uh, eventually for my build here, I'm going to remove both um, these hard drives here and put it in a separate computer and leave these two SSDs. So let's talk a little bit about these hard drives. So here is an old SATA 2. Um, this one is a uh, Caviar Black 1 terabyte. This one right here, as you can see, is my old SATA 2 Velociraptor from Western Digital. All the, These two here are Western Digital. And then here I have my two SSDs. I don't know which one is which, but one of these is a 64 gigabyte OCZ. I believe it's a Vertex um, 4. I think it's a Vertex. Something like that. You'll see it. You'll see it in the build. Um, the build details. I kind of forgot most of these specs because I ra I ran this with this computer for about five months, so I know exactly kind of how it runs and uh, what's good about it and what's bad about it. And down here is a 256 uh, gig, um, same exact one as the top, but larger capacity. And uh, so basically how, how I have it set up is the 64 gig runs just my operating system and utilities like, uh, you know, crap cleaner and stuff like that and uh, my antivirus. And this bottom one is just for games. Then we have the one terabyte for storage, 300 gig for video. And yeah, so uh, like I said, here's a physics card. This will possibly be removed later on. There's a 660 Ti and all that stuff. And as you can see, it's pretty jumbled. The um, This particular board is really not that great when you have this many drives in place. It's very hard to clip them in there. And everything you see in this computer will be reviewed eventually. And you can see that it that as currently, I know it's a big, you know, big boo-boo here, but I only have one fan in here currently here in the back, and I have one here. But, you know, I got quite a bit of airflow here. So the only place it gets hot is in the front and up in the back. But you could see that with this current build, you cannot fit any fans up here in the front because here's the mounting hole and their hard drives flush up against the mounting hole. So this is more of an SSD build, which I understand, and I'm going to eventually move these into a server build or a secondary computer build. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the conclusion, and uh, we'll conclude this video. So this is my uh, budget build, yeah. So this is uh, the best type of setup for somebody that uh, is looking for. Now, back uh, when I when I originally bought it and put it together, it was about uh, maybe f four months ago, four or five months ago. It was uh, fifteen hundred dollars. So now you could probably find it. You could probably buy it for like thirteen hundred, maybe twelve fifty for this comp uh, this particular build. Now, what would I go for if I wanted to bring it up to a $1,500 build? If I wanted to bring it up to a $1,500 build, I would, uh, I would go for, uh, well, for me, for me, uh, for legit PC and take care of my channel, I would go for a, a larger SSD for more games. So like a 300 gig SSD. What? If uh, someone else, like a gamer, were to uh, get this particular config and wanted to do the capture card and stuff like that, I would probably go with a um, a better graphics card, so uh, a 670, probably a 670 will, will do you alright. Or you could go with the 760, the new 700 series, a new 760 or 770, and that will probably bring you up there. Or go, if you don't want either and you want the, the computing power and you're an uh, occasional gamer, then I would stay with the 660 Ti, get a regular 660 or a 650 Ti or a 650, and go with the 3770K Ivy Bridge or bump up to the new Haswell. Um, yeah, but then of course if you go with Haswell, you need the newer boards, and newer boards are a lot more expensive. The 7, what was it, Z, Z87, something like that. It was a new chipset. Okay, um... So yeah, this is what I use for all my rendering. This is a perfect build. I mean, if you wanted to replicate it exactly, it would be you know twelve uh, twelve fifty or thirteen hundred dollars, and it'll do all you want except for the hard drives inside. Of course, I already had the hard drives inside, 
and the 460 I already had from a previous build, but I wouldn't go with that. Um, we'll see. If, we'll see if later on there's more physics games, and we'll see whether that's valid or not. And you guys will see that in the video when I do a comparison against dedicated physics and not dedicated physics. So this is my uh, this is my build, and uh, this is a good fifteen hundred dollar build that I would suggest to anybody. You know, you can switch the cases around; cases don't really matter. But this is the case I went with because it's very small. Um, yeah. So this has been Steven from Legit PC, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. If you like my videos, please subscribe for other videos like it, and thanks for watching.